All right, new JP patch notes, and I, I already know what it is here. Or not? Okay, I thought, <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be, the the character from the catastrophe story this week. I assumed it was gonna be catastrophe because we haven't had one since uh, what Roxy, in December. It's been listen four months, no original character. I guess do we have a Ragnarok? I don't know. But it's almost like a, a record for them, so. New Valenti, Mark Chu is a new name. It is Blue Mark Chu Valenti, okay. Oh. Oh, I already see the symbol right here. This is a demonic beast unit. Dude, why did they... Why didn't they release it with the beast? This weird, stupid schedule of theirs. Uh, you know, releasing a festival alongside the the new character okay oh kane already has translations perfect let, let me let me put this on screen real quick all right in demonic beast battle oh is it specific i'm gonna he says in demonic beast battle i wonder if it's specifically on the squirrel it just says in demonic beast battle okay when the unit uses skill to damage the enemy remove one debuff apply to the allies that's pretty good Demon King Mally already removes one debuff, so I'm thinking Squirrel. Obviously, I'm not gonna. I'm, I don't give a shit about any of the other demonic beasts. I'm thinking of the new demonic beast, right? You're gonna use demonic. You're gonna use Demon King Mally. You're not beating that without Demon King Mally. So he already does that. But a lot of times there's still debuffs there, and you don't actually want to pop a blue card from Liz to cleanse because there's mechanics in the fight against blue cards. So uh, an increased attack rate by eight percent up to forty. What? <laughs> when the unit is AoE skill, which damage the enemy, apply poison for two turns to the enemy. Uh huh. If all allies participate in different races, very easy. Yeah, very easy. Very easy. Very easy. Apply increase the allies HP by twenty percent. Wow. Easy, easy, to, easy to do. Demon King Mali is the demons. Uh, Liz is goddess. Valencia's human. You can rock in. Wait, who? So she applies shock and poison. So you remove Merlin. Perfect. Merlin was the worst. Merlin died every run, dude. It terrible, terrible character. Thank God. Like <laughs> she is the character to remove. Perfect. So now the new team is gonna be Valenti, Demon King, Melly, uh, King still because. I mean, actually, you don't need to use King. He's probably still going to be the most reliable. And you still get, get the poison from him. I don't know. In any case, you got poison and shock from her. So, removing Merlin is huge. No, that unit is garbage. Okay. Inflicts 400 about shock to the enemy is single target. And the other one is release. Which is interesting. All, all targets. Uh, he doesn't put on the ult because the ult is the same. Increases damage by 50 and uh, reduces damage by 50 just to the one character, just to Valenti. Banner's dog water, but... Are there free summons? Is there... There's one... Ooh, what is this ticket? Disaster ticket. Just the... Bottom of the... Barrel of the disaster characters. <laughs> what is this pile of shit? I mean, okay, if any of these get LRs, then the conversation becomes different, but like. Are they? Are they gonna get LRs? Who knows, right? Login bonus is interesting. No, no, no jams. You got this chest over here. Is this the one from the current patch? The one that you can select stuff? I am not so sure. But okay. Uh, well, the banner is bad. Like, the banner is really bad. But here's the thing. Okay, for real though. Here, here's the thing. The squirrel is really hard. Uh, I'm gonna just put the, I'm gonna just pull out my video on the squirrel just for, uh, just to talk about yeah. it. So, floor one is not hard. It can be annoying depending on card RNG, right? And honestly, floor two is very easy. Between floor one and two, I find floor one way harder, way harder than floor two. 
Floor 3, on the other hand, is... The... It isn't as bad as Snake used to be, or Dogs, but it's, it's not fun. It's lots of RNG. Lots of card RNG, mainly. If you are not that interested in beating Floor 3 right now, because here's the real thing. Mael's Relic, right, is not even that good, right? Like at the end, I'm probably talk about... Can I wipe here? It's, I, I couldn't wipe. I, I did wipe, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you really, really want to run Mael, sure, make his Relic. But ideally, why would you even make his Relic? So, that's materials you don't have to waste right now, and potentially wait for, like, a better Holy Relic. Are they releasing a Relic Dispatch? Unlikely. Another thing is, they barely release Relics. Do you know why? Because they're running out of characters to give Relics to. Like, there's there's Relics for, like, old characters. There's Death Pierce, there's Jericho, there's Gila. A ton of old characters to get Relics still. And some random characters that don't have relics as well, that need them. Like, um, what's her face? Derriere, stuff like that. But those are characters that probably aren't going to get relics from the new beast. If you look at the new beast relics, like, yeah, Mael gets a new beast relic. Trailer Meliodas is probably going to get a new beast relic. Uh, whenever they decide to give to, like, base Meliodas, they're probably going to give it to the new beast because it's, like, characters that people care about. But characters that people don't really care about, they usually still give it to the old ones, like when they gave it to Janna and, and Zanari, they gave it to the old beasts. It wasn't the most current one. Realistically speaking, there's not gonna be a new relic for a little while. Accumulating the relic materials, if you can beat Floor 2, is good enough, I think. Especially because... I'm just gonna... I just wanna go back to the... I, I don't remember where it is. Oh, right here. Especially because... If you summon for this character, you're making a commitment. Like legit, if you summon for Valencia, you're making a commitment that you're gonna you're gonna go for floor three every single week, or you're gonna be wasting gems. It's gonna be a waste unless you get if you get her from the free multi, then lamau. But because really you don't need her for floor one and two. Floor one and two are very easy. You just need to know the mechanics. If you know the mechanics and you have the four characters needed, which they're very. Apart from potentially LR Liz, if you tell me you don't have the other three characters, Demon King, Melly, King, and Merlin, uh, I would tell you you're not supposed to be even trying this beast anyways. LR Liz, I would give a pass because you could have just got extremely unlucky and never pulled her. It is what it is, right? But uh, Demon King, Melly, if you skipped Demon King, Melly, when everyone and everything was telling you to save for that banner, like... I don't know, just, I, I was, you're not you're not supposed to be trying this beast. That's that's all I'm saying, right? So if you don't have the characters to beat Floor One and Two, I don't know what to tell you. But those characters with low, I wouldn't even say bad gear. Those are characters you should have good gear for. Meliodas, Merlin, King, Elizabeth, like these are all characters that you probably have your gear for. Like it's One and Two is very easy. Yeah, maybe not very, but they are relatively easy compared to other beasts. That That's my point. Compared to dogs, when those pieces of shit came out, like, it's incomparable. Incomparable. This is the easiest demonic beast we've ever had. Again, comparatively to the other ones, it's not even close. Bird, day one, people fight floor one was unbeatable. This beast, people beat floor 3 on, like, the first day. So, like, you know what I mean? But, 1 and 2 are relatively easy, I still think. And you don't like this character, for sure. I think for if you want to consistently beat floor 3, I would 1 billion percent pull for this character. It's not even, it's not even close. Dude, Merlin sucks so bad. Like, Merlin is so sh- oh, She is the bane of my existence. Because I did some attempts this week. I, uh... Every single time I lose is because of Merlin. Not even a joking. Every single time. So, yeah. No one like it. No wonder, right? The bad characters are bad. New card set. So yeah, I mean, someone if you want, of course, 
Obviously, I'm not your dad, but that that would be my rec recommendation, right? There is definitely less of a reason for someone for this character than I would say Festivore. And this character is probably going to come back very often. Probably. Uh, seven Catastrophe allies traits have basic stats increased by 5%. And when they attack an enemy with a debuff, the attack related stats increase by 5%. Okay. The problem I have with card sets will always be the same. Card sets are bad in PvP for the most part, unless you're going second, because... C card... A C card? Like, uh, how, am I how am I supposed to even try to go first with this, with this, you know? Card sets have had that issue since day one, and it seems like they're never going to fix it, so. Uh, bundles, bundles. Nothing interesting. What, this, I, I swear, is this, this looks like the chest you get from Hero Arena. But I don't, don't think it is. You got the one multi on Valencia, good luck. Pulling her from this one multi would be huge, right? Uh, this is <laughs> disaster. I don't even know, like, I'm not even gonna tell you who to pick. It's just, everyone here is so bad. There's no, no one here, I'm like, oh yeah, this character. No, they're all bad. Like, Blue Mono, Green Shin, like, those are characters that are, like, in super, super low activities could be usable but even then like do you not have them like come on if you can hold this which i don't think you can but if you yeah uh yeah until april 25th if you could hold this i would just leave it on your box but you can't and then if one of these guys ever got an lr then you'd get an extra dupe for it but like unlikely and it, you're not you can't only until april 25th uh this dude okay i mean it doesn't go like multiple levels but th these like extra buffs are actually pretty neat let me zoom in i'm kind of zoomed out and they're they keep going i never do these so this is a card set i'm not gonna get in this is ticket i don't care i never do these it's because i play jp so th they they put like a mission uh, they put missions for these materials and i have to put pull out google translate i can't be asked so Oh, the Catastrophe event is back. Uh, some nice free gems from there. There's no... This is what I said about the Galfer, uh, Galfer Festival, right? Galfer's Festival is... bad in terms of release schedule, because it's, you know, a festival back-to-back -back like that, which we usually don't get. But if you look at it, because it's a festival, it's a bigger event, and they gave more gems in that event, a stinky catastrophe event has no gem strip because it's a stinky catastrophe event, right? So, yeah, as much as like, oh, you know, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I don't even know if I would call this an easy skip, to be honest. But, oh, easy skip banner, well, you also got no gems, you know? Like, <laughs> but yeah. Seven, L okay, I was about to say, can you only get seven LR coins? No, it's 21. I got seven catastrophes, they gave seven to each boss, okay. 21 LR coins, that's pretty decent. Uh, and like, this is like random stuff that comes back with celebrations. Oh, they, they moved the... Yeah, I always found it so weird that the Demon King fight is just in the the boar hat UI. So, yeah, it makes more sense to be here. Oh, they're revamping the, the gear gotcha. Okay. So the the blue boxes you get from geared PvP, I'm guessing, right, are gonna become keys instead. So I'm guessing as a reward from now on, instead of those boxes, you're gonna get keys from PvP. Oh no. I don't see if uh. They did, they, they did something for Guffer. Now, obviously, Valencia is going to be a seasonal character in Hero Arena. Uh, well, closing thoughts from Valencia. If you care about beating Floor 3, one build, not even a question someone for this character. It's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But, I don't know, man. Like, 
I would say most people don't even get much out of summoning for, or sorry, making Miles Relic. So it is probably an easy Relic to skip, unless you... Unless you want it for Chaos Battle. That's that's a good reason, I guess. Because my old teams in Chaos Battle are pretty good, so... I don't know. But apart from that... The, de the demon is not the hardest thing ever, so you make your choice here, but I think I, I, I laid out my points. <laughs>